Morning came. I hope Elfrid woke up properly this morning. <sighs> I let out a sigh as I dressed. I had gone to bed soon after dinner the night before. I didn't know when Elkreed had come back. I don't even know if he's come back at all. I put on my sword belt with the scabbard and adjusted it around my hip. All right, all done. I cast another glance into the mirror to adjust my collar. I still wasn't used to my skirt, but I wanted to make sure the rest looked as proper as possible. I am, after all, window dressing for my employer. Swords had fallen out of use in the depths. They were unnecessary. If I let that make me depressed, I won't find a way. I had to do whatever I could. Elkreed had picked me, and I didn't want to disappoint him. Girls on a mission. A sweet fragrance drifted into my nostrils as soon as I opened the door. The smell. I followed the beguiling scent to find Elkreed stretched out on the sofa. Good. He's up. Good morning, Elkreed. Oh, good morning, my knight. Would you care for black tea? Black tea? Oh, so that's what this scent is. I'm surprised it exists in the depths. Of course. We have no agriculture in Libra Lita, so it must be imported. I will have it brought here if you wish. My recommendation is rosemary, cinnamon, lavender, lemon myrtle, raspberry leaves, and a spoonful of honey. Here. Sounds delish. I thanked him, sat down, and took the cup from Elkreed. The cooks judged this to be the right time to put breakfast on the table. Hmm. It's very good. That's nice to hear. Everyone prefers their black tea differently. Ulrich would have said it all tastes the same to him. I'm frankly impressed by his barbarian nature. <laughs> yes, he would say that. I'm surprised you were able to wake up considering how it went yesterday. You seem well rested. That's good. Oh, I haven't slept. Hmm? I haven't slept at all. Working sleepless is a special skill of mine. But... That's not healthy. Who knows? We will find out once I am no longer healthy. My body is unexpectedly sturdy. I don't think this is anything to be proud of. What on earth did you do that you sacrificed all your sleep? Are you curious? But I won't tell you no matter how you plead with me. I know that. But eventually nature will take its toll. Please, take more care of yourself. I will. I propose we go outside together as the first act of taking care of myself. I suspect that's been your plan all along. You're headed to the bank, right? No, to have fun. We can have fun in the bank, I suppose, but the clerks and the customers would be looking. You might be the owner, but can you really decide to be absent? I decide what I can and can't do, and what I do has never made the bank worse off. I'm quite capable. Will you accept my offer? I didn't want to encourage him to ditch work, but... Alright. You were attacked only yesterday. I'll need to protect you. Oh, oh. I'm glad that you're so enthusiastic, but I wanted us to go out together not as employer and guard, but as man and woman. As man and woman? Yes. You would have to change into something more gorgeous, more traditionally beautiful. I will send for a wonderful dress. But, but... No, these clothes are fine. I don't like dresses. Especially if the need to protect you should arise. I see. Very well. I won't force something on you that you dislike, but... He leaned towards me and put his index finger on my lips. Will you speak with a feminine heart just for today? Speak? Yes. With softness and warmth. As if you were talking to your lover. I've never had one, dude. I don't even know what that involves. L lover That was hardly reasonable. That will be difficult. I have no such experience. 
You don't have to overthink it. If you can't do it, I won't deduct from your pay or fire you. Only try to go along with my whims. Uh, uh, I have a feeling this will not work at all. <laughs> oh, God. Well, sir, you asked for this. We set out into the city after breakfast. The weather's so nice today. Well, except for the clouds, anyway. And the smoke in all directions. And the smell of oil. But I have a beautiful woman by my side, so the sun shines on my heart. Uh, uh, what does it mean to speak with a feminine heart? Is something wrong? Are you hungry? No! Uh, I mean... Goodness me, not at all. I feel just fine. <laughs> yes, very good. Well done. Elk Green smiled and patted my head. <laughs> Oof. I I'm not a little child. Sadly, I couldn't tell him off. I had no real right to do that. The more I try to consciously choose my words, the more it confuses me and the less I say. Honey. Did adding that make it sound more feminine? <laughs> You're killing it, Cyrus. You got this. I had no idea whether I was doing anything right or wrong. You seem to be struggling rather valiantly, yes. Perhaps we need to change our strategy. Strategy? Yes. Instead of trying to talk like we're going out, try to act like it. <laughs> I'm your bodyguard. Well, in this moment, I'm not. I'm going along with his whims, so... <sighs> That's worked for us so far. Yep. I don't know what it's like to go out with someone, so that won't be easy either. But it seems better than trying to alter my diction. Got it. <laughs> I don't think anybody says got it in those tones while talking to their partner. As part of your personality, it's kind of cute, though. But what exactly do you propose I do differently? Holding hands. Ah, taking the arm. Okay. Much more gallant. I will teach you that. Take my arm for now. Your arm? Like so? Oh, no. Not literally my arm in your hand. You have to link your arm with mine. More like this. Elkree took my arm with his hand and guided it until our arms were linked. Uh, oh, I see. This makes more sense. I turned red at my mistake. Were there no couples in the Heights who did this? Oh, there were, but... The only ones who do this are children and married couples. Married. A nice ring. I wouldn't be averse to fighting for your affection until that day comes. Down here in the depths, unmarried couples do this regularly. Rest easy. H huh It's hard to rest easy if we're not a couple. Why can't we be? What must I do so we can be a couple? Please don't make this difficult. <laughs> I apologize. But trying to hide your face behind my shoulder has the opposite effect. It will only make me love you more. Well then, let's walk around a little. Standing here is becoming boring. Okay, show me around, Elk Creed. Please call me Elt today. Try it again. Uh, Elt. Creed. <laughs> I didn't hear the second half. Let's go, then. He kissed me on the head and began to walk. What? <laughs> You're as red as an apple. It's so cute. El Creed had adjusted his gait to mine. I was grateful his steps were shorter, but... What am I going to do? What should I do? What am I doing? Simply walking with him propelled my heart rate skyward. I could feel a thin film of sweat on myself. 
My pulse was also uneven. If enduring this kind of physical state is normal for a relationship, then... This will be difficult. Poor girl. I think it's cute that they're both learning about love in their own ways. He thinks he's an expert, but he doesn't really know. Come in! Oh, Master! Welcome! Thank you. Can we sit in the corner? Yes, of course. Pick as you like. Thank you. Come on. Uh, okay. I'm so tired. I slouched over the table, tired after a day of being dragged around by Old Creed. That was fun today. I was really happy all the time we spent together. I hope the same goes for you. <laughs> but looking at you, that doesn't seem to be true. Am I being difficult for you? You just have too much energy. Did you really not sleep? Yes, I'm proud of how much I can thrash my body. Th that's nothing to be proud of. I think protecting you in the bank would have been a lot easier for me. You standing behind and looking out for me? That's both simple and tedious. Yes, I only have to pay attention to what's going on. I don't have to think about anything. I see. How did you think of me then? Huh? When we were acting like a couple earlier, how did you think of me? Did you think of me as a man? Even perhaps as your partner? I thought you were weird. <laughs> uh, I mean, if she's telling the truth... Yeah... Oops. I'm getting this guy time goes. Nice. I did. That's why I'm so worn out right now. <laughs> I see. My heartfelt apologies, then. Elkreed smiled and drank water from his glass. Were you satisfied? With what? With how I behaved. I wasn't able to think much about anything. I had my hands full doing what you wanted me to do. Did you really have fun? It didn't bore you? What about you? Are you only tired? Or did you find something? I don't know. I see. Too bad. I like making the one I spend time with happy. But it appears only I enjoyed it. I wonder what I must do so you will truly enjoy your time with me. You might begin by devoting your time to your job. Oh. Well, that could be difficult. Difficult, huh? Why are you so particular about me, Elt? I like you. I want to fall in love with you. I, I don't want jokes. I want the real you. Oh, you want me too? That makes me so happy. When shall we marry? How many wedding receptions do you want? Th that's not what I... <laughs> I know. I know what you wanted to say. You must be feeling that I don't actually need you. That must be confusing. Yes, precisely. I don't understand what it is about me that you like. Just yesterday I saw your shooting skills. I doubt that you will need my skills with the sword. I talked to Ulrich about it, and he said I was window dressing for you. It doesn't matter how good I am. Am I really just a decoration for you? Would you quit if that's the case? I would accept it. I live my whole life like that and the rest of my life will be the same. At some point you will forget what your true self is, but others will still want you for something. There is meaning in that. It doesn't really matter what you are then. Alt? Well, I suppose that made no sense to you. I'm sorry. What was that about? For just a moment, it seemed like a mask had dropped. It all happened so fast that I couldn't tell whether I had imagined it. Um. Gosh, he's really here. 
out, you should have really have said something. Yeah, yeah, don't ignore us. Oh, hello. What a lively group you are. A group of women appeared, cutting me off. Go away, I saw him without his mask for a second. H who are they? The woman ignored me as I stared open-mouthed. Instead, they surrounded Elkreed, purring at him. We've been so lonely lately. Come visit us tonight. I would like to, but tonight I have other arrangements. Aww. When are we going to continue where we left off? Once I have the fortitude for that. I haven't slept last night. I have no idea what their business is with Elkreed, but... Their relationship seemed clearly unhealthy to me. Lady killer, huh? Apparently, he had not exaggerated. I wondered if the women surrounding him were in love with him. It must be difficult to make him your partner as so many fawn over him. If I'd been born in the depths, would I be among them? I couldn't picture it. Looking at them and knowing my own discomfort with the romantic gave me a feeling of inferiority. I found myself wishing that I could speak with him as effortlessly as they could. No. I am who I am. I'll never be like they are. They were so close I could touch them if I'd wanted, and yet they seemed a world away. I looked at Elk Creed, feeling a little sad. Aww. Our girl. I can't thank you enough for today. I had a lot of fun, and it allowed me to wind down. But... I didn't do anything. I was so bad at acting like your lover. The others were so much better. The others? Who? The women who came to ask for your attention. They were skilled in communicating what they felt and thought to you. I can't articulate what I feel like that. It makes me think I must be very boring. I... I think I should focus on what I can do well. Then again, all I know how to do is fighting with a sword. As long as I have your trust, I will protect you. The funny thing is, she says, I have trouble communicating how I feel. But the other women aren't actually communicating how they feel at all. It's all a veneer. It's all a, a play and a show. It's not their true feelings. Whereas the way she acts around him is genuine. I think he can sense that. Is that all? Eh? Does our relationship really have to be limited to that? Limited? To being employer and guard. I like your sword skills, yes. I love your knightly demeanor. But I don't want it to end there. You grew up ignorant of a love that grows naturally. In the heights, that's all well and good. But the depths are different. Love is free. You need to grasp it yourself, but you don't know how to. I want to teach you how to love, the joy of it and of being loved. I don't want you to become isolated. Why? Who knows? Probably because I'm attracted to you. Elkreed. <laughs> Was that too outrageous? It's the truth, though. Love is born in the most mundane situations. Sometimes we don't even realize we're in love. Love is real, but it can't be seen. It has no form, but it comes in many shapes. Love is strange like that. And you're telling me to understand something formless? Is that too difficult? Perhaps... I can give it a form. Elkreed took a step towards me and put his right hand on my cheek. The piercing glare of his lilac eyes made me nervous and I averted my eyes. W what Please. Look at me. And stand still. <laughs> oh, he took off his glasses. This is getting serious. He removed his glasses with his left and put them in his pocket. 
He looks so different without his glasses. As I was lost in that thought, he kissed me. <laughs> Confirmed, Elkreed does not kiss with his glasses on. Gotcha. Wh what? I couldn't understand what was happening and stood there motionlessly as he ran his fingers gently over my neck. Hmm? It felt like being tickled with a feather. I moaned a little. <laughs> Maybe Cyrus's kink is just being kissed. <laughs> oh god, the noises. No. Why is there no picture? I guess there's no picture for this because we need like a legit kiss at some point, but oh. <sighs> All right, we can get through this. Yeah, yeah, we can do this. <laughs> oh, something warm entered through my lips and touched my tongue. Ahem. I tried to twist backwards away from him, but he pulled me towards him by the hip. <laughs> this is going a little fast, man. I don't want it to end here. His face was so close that I could feel the vibrations of his deep voice in my head. W w what are you doing? What I... I kissed you. You don't know what a kiss is. Th this But... This isn't how kisses work. <laughs> I see. Well, how do they work, then? Um, they... Uh... It was... Difficult for me to explain, and if possible, I didn't want to talk about it at all. I looked at Elk Creed. He wasn't going to allow silence. Even as I began to talk, I felt my body becoming hotter. It's just a light touch. Ugh, this is so embarrassing. So even kisses in the eyes are just like a like a peck. Peck, peck. I just wanted to run away, but he pulled me even closer. If you only know a kiss on the cheek, you don't know a third of what life has to offer. Th that's fine. I still have the other two thirds. Hey, don't say that. I'll teach you what you don't know. Teach? Yes. I told you I'd show you the form of love, right? Look at me now. A kiss is a very basic form of showing love. He hardly ended his sentence before he put his lips on mine again. Except this time it was a short, light kiss that gently brushed over my lips. Mm -hmm. There are many different kisses. This was a light kiss. Is that the kind of kiss you know of? What are you doing?! I rubbed my lips with the back of my hand and looked up at Elk Creed. You're getting a lesson in kisses, obviously. He smiled at me with bemusement. <laughs> I like that he's got the pose as though he's pointing his glasses up, but there's no glasses there. But that's actually accurate because if you wear glasses and you take them off, you still feel like you have phantom glasses on and you're like pushing up non-existent glasses. Kissing you. Perhaps the past tense would be more accurate. Yes, I... I mean, sure. But that's not what I... You can't do this! Why not? Who forbids it? Nobody is going to punish Elkreed Valentine here in Libra Elitus. Cyrus may dare to. We need to continue with the lesson now. W wait I... You can also kiss several times in succession. And if you envelop the other person's lips with yours... I couldn't reject my employer too forcefully. I wanted to make him stop, but my objections were brushed away. You can do this. Shall we continue? C continue The kissing had already left me breathless. I leaned against his chest before I passed out. There's still more? After all this? That wasn't all? Oh no. 
You haven't done anything yet, have you? Two people's feelings are on show while kissing. If you open up with some of yours, both of us would have more fun. Fun? I resolved to not be toyed with any longer and gently but firmly pushed myself away. L let's keep it at this for the day. Of course. And since you said it's only for the day, I assume I may expect something in the future. Elkreed leaned down and whispered, I look forward to it. Into my ear before he gently bit my earlobe. Ah! <laughs> yeah. Ah! <laughs> I like how that sounded. Very stimulating. But I doubt I could adequately perform without sleep. Let's stop here. Next time, we will take it slower. G Good night! I ran towards my room before he could give me an answer. <laughs> and goodbye! I could hear him chuckling as I left. <laughs> Girl, you need a cold shower and like some chocolate. No, not chocolates. <sighs> hmm. What's like a comforting food that's not too stimulating? <laughs> Ugh, not really desserts. Hmm. Whatever, like, is the closest to potato chips <laughs> or something like that. Whatever your favorite snack is. Huh. 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 I closed the door behind me and leaned against it. I blushed as I touched the earlobe he'd bitten. What was all that about? Today, and just now. Again and again, Elkreed had talked to me about love. It wasn't that I felt he was wrong about anything. I just didn't understand, and it confused me. And then he... Kissed me. A light kiss, a couple of quick kisses, and then he enveloped my lips with his. What Elkreed had said wheeled through my mind like a flock of disoriented birds. I'm not going to remember anything if... N no this isn't even about learning and remembering. I'm not studying anything! I shook my head, hoping to forget everything, and undid the clasp of my sword belt. I saw people in the Heights kissing, but... In the Heights, only married couples kissed, and only in private. There was no law against doing it in public. When I saw people engage in it where others could see, I'd always looked away, feeling as if I was seeing something wicked. I would never have thought of doing that with someone I wasn't married or even engaged to. The ways of the depths are so scary. I looked into the mirror and touched my lips. And a kiss where more happened than our lips touching. I felt strange. I couldn't tell whether it was due to what we'd done, or... Because I did it with Elkreed specifically. I wondered whether Elkreed was able to kiss just about anybody like he had kissed me. If he's kissing even me, it must mean nothing more than shaking hands to him. That's a good way to put it. I like her girl, she's smart. She's got a smart brain in her noggin. I changed into my nightwear and lay on the bed with a pillow held to my chest. I thought a kiss was something special. I couldn't decide whether I really wanted to adopt this part of their culture. Understanding love is so hard. Ah, uh, excellent. I'm like, I really want to know what his thoughts were after all that shenanigans. Boy, you better have some good explanations for that. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. Nothing happened last time. I'm, I assume I'll be fine. G g good night! And then she left, her face beat red. All I did was kiss her. I was a little shocked that she acted like we just had our first time. Thank you, Ulrich voice of reason. Look, aren't you going a little fast? How long have you been there? <laughs> Oh my god, he was there the entire time! 
Oh, die of embarrassment. Please don't think worse of me. I put my glasses back on and looked towards the sofa where Ulrich was lying. He was looking at me, only his upper body raised from the sofa and holding a thick book to his chest. Whoa, I didn't know you were here. No, I'm pretty sure you did. You wanted me to see this, right? I walked over and plopped myself down next to him. I'm not into that. Actually, that would be a lie. Figures. Don't you get fed up with just the ordinary stuff after a while? Sometimes deviance is fun. I don't care. Not my thing. Pass is the same. If you only get the same day in, day out, you start to crave something really wild, right? Sex and pasta aren't the same. Maybe what's deviant here is just your brain. Ulrich, pasta is a deeply sexual dish. Okay, now I'm curious. Let's hear this theory. If a woman eats noodle soup, the chance is high that after each spoonful she will lick her lips. Doesn't that fire you up? No. Do you really watch the woman's mouth all the time when you eat? That's so idiotic. I guess a poor lonely soul like you wouldn't understand. Alright, I know. I'll make noodle soup next time, then you can watch my lips. Like hell I'm going to stare at your lips, you creep. Besides, you're a man. Ulrich? Are you certain of that? Of what? That I'm a man. Do you have clear evidence? You clearly look like a man. You clearly like women. Irrelevant details. For all you really know, if you go deeper along this forest path you've found, you'll find my pleasure gardens of sapphic love. I'm getting dizzy. I'm going to walk away from the path, dispose of the map, and stay indoors forever. Please let me in with you. Anyway, aren't we getting derailed here? The kiss was too early. You were the one who told me to make a move. You encouraged this? What? I said I wouldn't be surprised if you made a move. Not that you should. You're leading her around by the nose. If this confuses her so much that she can't focus on her guard duties properly and you die as a result, that's gonna be on you. Dying for love. Ah, oh, that has a sweet ring. Dying isn't sweet, you idiot. Look, she's a woman. She lives right here in the mansion. It's totally fine that you want to take it to another level, but it's too early. Are you in love or something? I wouldn't say I'm head over heels in love, but I'm very much attracted to her. Otherwise, I wouldn't have hired her. But... To be honest, I'm having a hard time really seeing her as a woman. Because she's your precious knight. That too, but... Also because she's from the Heights, I suppose. I still have doubts whether someone as freewheeling as me should court someone who's as new to it as she is. So you do think about that. But apparently that makes no difference because you're still courting her big time. Not at all. This is slow going in my book. If I'd wanted, I could have carried her back to my bed there. But I didn't. I feel like if I'd slept with her, she would have turned into just another woman for me. I want her to be herself, more sacred. But while she's by my side, I also want to touch her and show her more of myself. Is this love, I wonder? Love or not, it's not normal. Yeah. Yeah? Man, what the hell goes on between your ears? I have no idea. Oh, I'm the handsome, mysterious man. <laughs> you make me blush. I'm not complimenting you. Well, I have to disappoint you. The love of other men is misdirected at me. I'm not in love with you. Not at all. Not one bit. Huh. <sighs> 
I'm such a generous fool to keep talking to you. You should thank me for this. Oh, I'm very thankful. Thank you so much. I love you, Ulrich. Stop it. I don't accept anybody's love. I don't care about it. I'm frankly amazed no girl stabbed you yet. I've got a knack for moving first when they're about to thrust. Stop making sex jokes. Hmm? I wasn't making... Oh, I see. That's how you took it. Ah, uh, the imagination of 18-year-olds is truly wonderful. <laughs> His face like, oh my god. If that wasn't a joke, you said it subconsciously, weirdo. Come on now. Two weirdos need to get along. Shut up! I'm not a weirdo! Sure. If I check that book, it's probably a dirty one. Nope. It's a lexicon. A lexicon? Does it have euphemisms? Stop! No more of your imagination, you idiot! I'm going home! Bye! Die in a fire! <laughs> I love Ulrich too much. He's the best. <laughs> Making fun of him will never get old. Now, what should I do? I always loved showing my love to others. I was good at it. But I normally did it only when I knew I was welcome. I'm just good at giving them what they want. The kiss had been different. Besides, I'd hired her because I wanted to, not because I had to. I'd exploited her circumstances, telling her this was her best chance, because I'd wanted her close to me. She's so pure. I can tell her almost anything and she will obey. What I told Ulrich is true. It would be trivial to sleep with her. But... With Cyrus, I found it hard to want that. It didn't feel right to sully the innocent knight. At the same time, though, I wanted to know her better. As a woman. I wanted her. The kisses had been the result of that conflict. I'm also young. I might just give in to impulses one day. I touched my lips and thought of her. I truly don't want to sully her. I'll have to do my best to rein myself in. Whew. Boy. <laughs>